You wake up and you're already late. You rush getting ready, quick shower, fuck, you can't even eat food. Change and you're out the door. Can't even sit in the car for a bit to relax or find a good song, you have to go right now. Text from your coworkers and boss, where are you, running late, blah 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 blah. You're stressed, speeding, cutting people off left and right, just to go to your job that you don't even like, and all of a sudden, your tire pops. Now you're on the side of the freeway, changing a flat tire. Why couldn't you wake up earlier? Oh my god, the day has gotten so much worse. Why does there have to be other people on the road? Why is life so hard? Why can't I control my life? Wait a minute. You can. Now, this actually happened a couple years ago when I was still in the Air Force. I had a notorious habit of being late. I got- I was late a lot okay i was up late playing fucking video games right so i wake up you know how when you go somewhere a lot you know exactly how long it takes to get there so you can choose to kind of be lazy and not get ready as quickly because you still have time right that was me and i woke up i didn't have that time so i already knew i was going to be late i'm getting ready changing taking a quick shower can't even eat can't even enjoy the fucking morning right I go outside, I already notice that my tire is a little bit flat, and my dumbass decides to go on the freeway, drive with an already flat tire, and guess what happens? The tire fucking explodes, and now I'm late. Now I'm late for a fucking shore, <laughs> right? There was a part of me that was like, oh, thank god my tire is flat, now I have an excuse, right? But now I just had to deal with the flat tire versus being late, right? One is way better than the other. I end up on the side of the freeway in Las Vegas changing my fucking flat. First time I ever changed a flat, by the way. I didn't know what I was doing. Watching a YouTube video on the side of the road, figuring out what to do. And I remember being stressed out, but something happened that day. I didn't really care. And in that moment, I realized that it didn't really matter and everything was under my control. It was my fault that the tire was flat and I chose to drive on it. It was my fault that I was late. I couldn't have gotten... I could have gotten up earlier. And on my way to get a new tire with the flat, I remember listening to the song, um, Just the Two of Us, right? It's like a super old, like 80s chill song. It's like, just the two of us. We can make it if we try, just the two of us. It was like that. If you've never heard it, listen to it, it's pretty chill. <laughs> but I remember listening to that, driving, and I was like, man, today's a good day. Like, I'm late. Got a flat, who cares, you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna deal with the flat, life is gonna be good, and I'm already fixing the problem, so why is there a need to be stressed about it, right? I was practicing stoicism without even knowing what it was at the time. So what the fuck is stoicism, right? It is a school of philosophy founded by a guy named Zeno. Thousands of years ago, Athens, Greece. I'm not gonna go into history because some of you have probably already clicked off the video. <laughs> Stoicism has helped me a lot these past couple of years and I've read a ton of books on Stoicism. I want to talk to you about the main ideas of it and I want to give you some of the hardest Stoic quotes that I've ever heard in my life that will help you out. If I could sum up Stoicism and put it into like bro science terms, it would be chill out and focus on what matters. One of Stoicism's main ideas is the dichotomy of control and that is Focusing on what you can and cannot control, right? There's, there's the things that we can't control. The weather, people's views on us, fucking time, traffic, other people. And then there's what we can control, right? Our minds, our perceptions of things, our emotions, um, how we react to certain things. Perception is one of the best concepts that I've learned from stoicism, right? For example, you're driving on the freeway. Somebody cuts you off, almost fucking crashes into you, into your car. What are you automatically going to think? You're going to be like, holy shit, you dumbass, blah, 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 be mad, angry, yada, 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 right? You don't have to be mad at all. You can choose to think however you want about anything, whenever you want. Whatever we think is happening, is happening. If I wake up in the morning and it's raining and it's cloudy and it's dark and I'm like, ah man, it's all fucking dark and gloomy, I'm all sad today, fuck, I hate the rain. Or you could literally think, oh, it's just rain, it's just cloudy, it's just the weather. I can't control the weather, what am I going to do about it? I'm still going to continue doing what I do, I, it's still a good day, it's still a day. You can choose to think whatever you want. Someone says something bad to you. You interpreted what that person said to you as bad. 
even if they were trying to insult you. You could be like, meh, you know, it really doesn't matter, right? Focus on what actually matters. Someone cuts me off in traffic. My first response when someone cuts me off is still like, oh my god, you motherfuck, right? But I've kind of trained myself to be like, eh, you know, if I was you, I'd probably do the same thing. I've trained myself to focus on what actually matters, not this random person cutting me off. I didn't crash, I'm good, right? I'm gonna focus on my driving. I'm gonna focus on getting to wherever I need to go and my life is gonna continue and be fine, right? Why am I letting these random people sway my emotions whenever they want? That is unacceptable. Another concept is memento mori, which literally translates to remember you are mortal, right? Remember you will die. Stoic philosophers would often contemplate their death and that's what helped them live with a greater purpose in life, right? I mean, it's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day routine of life, yada, 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 and not remember that one day, you know, all of a sudden, <laughs> Even I forget that most of the things that happen to us day to day are really mundane, they're really surface level, right? Let's choose to focus on what matters, let's actually live a good life, let's remember that we're going to die. Let's not focus on things that we can't control. Embracing struggle is another concept the Stokes talked about. I read, um, last year I read The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. And the book is based off of a quote from Marcus Aurelius, who's really the goat of stoicism he was a roman emperor right and he had this journal that he would write in pretty much his personal diary that people translated into a book and the quote goes um the impediment to action advances action what stands in the way becomes the way whatever obstacle you have in front of you actually helps you towards your goal when you're playing a video game and you run into enemies you know you're going in the right direction marcus aurelius's book meditations one of the hardest fucking books I've ever read. Seneca, Letters from a Stoic, great one too. Uh, Discipline is Destiny, The Obstacle is the Way, Stoicism. I've read all of these books and I want to give you some of the best quotes that can help you and I. There's a quote from Seneca and it goes, You want to live, but do you know how to live? You are scared of death and tell me, is the kind of life you lead really any different from being dead? Holy shit, all right. This guy, thousands of years ago, he's, he's literally telling his friend in a letter, is the life that you are living right now really any different from being dead? Pretty much asking his friend if he's living a meaningful life, which a lot of us aren't, which sometimes even I am not. Maybe even most of the times I'm not. Is the life you lead right now any different from being dead? Holy shit. A quote from Marcus Aurelius, it goes, People who labor all their lives but have no purpose to direct every thought and impulse toward are wasting their time, even when hard at work. Marcus Aurelius, a Roman emperor, said that pe even people who do hard work, they're working day in, day in and day out, but they have no real purpose. Even a Roman emperor thousands of years ago said that if you're not living with a purpose, you might be working hard or making money, but you have no purpose and no goal. That's not the right way to live. One of Seneca's best quotes also said that we suffer more in imagination than in reality. To us, our problems seem so gigantic, so like in our face, right? So overwhelming. Maybe you fail a class. Maybe you get rejected by a girl you like. Maybe you don't get the job that you wanted. Maybe you're unemployed looking for a way to make money, right? Most of the time, we stress ourselves out in our own minds when we really don't have to. Our interpretations of things stress us out, right? We're thinking thousands of thoughts a day, and some of those don't help us. Seneca also said, How can you wonder if your travels do you no good when you carry yourself around with you? You are saddled with the very thing that drove you away. A change of character, not a change of air, is what you need. He's basically talking about people who travel, right? People who um, want to explore the world and go around and are adventurers and do things like that, experience other cultures but they still have problems and maybe they're still sad inside. Now I love traveling, I've, I've been doing it often, but this one really made me think, like a lot of people want to escape from their hometown. Even Marcus Aurelius said something about not um, needing to escape or travel when you can look within yourself. In, inside of yourself is where you will find the most peace that you can have. Seneca saying like, what do you mean, you know, you're looking for a solution by traveling when you're the problem. <laughs> And lastly, Marcus Aurelius said that this is what you deserve. You could be good today, but instead you choose tomorrow. 
whatever your life is right now, this is what you deserve. This is what your actions have made you into. Your past actions are you right now in the present, right? You deserve wherever you are right now. If you want to be better, you could be better today, but instead you choose tomorrow. I think stoicism is awesome. I hope you do too. If you want to do more research about it, I would read Marcus Aurelius's Meditations, Letters from a Stoic by Seneca, and Maybe the Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. I hope that helps you. Peace.